Today in lecture, I am going to discuss what how to connect PostgreSQL with csop.net. So here I am using the Visual Studio and this place you can see PC admin form and PostgreSQL tables are there. So these tables are present there. Okay. And if I go on this SQL and uh, here this is the countries table and let's uh, click on this all view. So here you can see if I run this query then you can see this data on percent. Now after that the next is let's go on this and we can uh, connect uh, with CSAR. So we should use here tools then connect to database and here you can see so here you cannot see post key. So we need to use here ODBC data source. Okay. Then after here you can see list of ODBC. So I already have uh, uh, ODBC connection post key SQL 30 that I'm going to use. Then after uh, this place you can give uh, user details. So let's give here post is the user and give the password. And after that, if you give correct information, test, then it's okay, fine. After that, here you can see all uh, this all tables, Postgres tables, this all that comes out there. Now the next is, after that here, go on this project, click on this manage nutkit package. So this place here, you can uh, write npg npg so here you can see five star is there you need to install this package and here you can get the all details click on this install so with the help of this we can use here npg package insight or csr.net okay so this is now all downloading so for this one internet must be connected now Click on this OK. 7 verses is there. And uh, then if I go on this reference, there are so many NPG system, this all that downloaded there. OK. After that, let's go on there. And thereafter, I have already a code. So on uh, that, I'm going to copy. And next here, pasting inside main main method then after here you can see so automatically npg sql that's added and now here you can see where c is host name local host you can give your computer name user name postgres and this is here database is now postgres after that where con so cs that i passed con that open select a start from countries so this will here display all the countries table records and uh, here where cmd so new npg command so this is here you can see this ordinance new install npg there that i passed two parameter one is sql this is next is here connection after that why this is for the data and here you can see rdg get string get strings and uh, here get integer so since uh, if i go this place here you can see this is here a string a string and this is the integer so if uh, in your table this is the integer then this place you can give here integer so according to table auditor you can get and this is the placeholder you already know and uh, if i run this code so let's run the code then this place you can see here uh, countries table data that's uh, displaying with the help of these are dot net codes okay select a star from countries here countries table that's displaying now if you want to do some modification let's press enter so here you can select some particular or uh, columns also so here one of display country name only select so here writing country 
underscore name. Now you can see you need to give only one placeholder thing. This place. This place you can give only one placeholder. So these tools are not required. If I run this code, then definitely or oh, there is the error message or warning that's displayed. So reason is there, there I am selecting only one column but here pass 3. So what we need to do, let's uh, remove this one and then after uh, this uh, tools not required oh, and that's fine and next you need to see here country name is the string type or not. So country name is the string tab so there is no problem that come and if I run this query sorry code then you can get your country name country name this this time okay so you should use this code this is only 10 lines of code okay and this is how we can connect csr.net with postgre as well so now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.